Okay, it's 10.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday, February 23rd. Uh, the scammers are at it again. There was two large trades that I had that were removed from the books for 4000 uh, each that were in, in between the, the spread, USD spread and this. They're trying to get the price down, but now they pulled those two trades out as they think they got the price to where they want it. So if you're watching this closely, the scammers at Coinbase are at it again. They don't want this price above 50. It's obvious. Now the price started moving up right away. You'll see two trades, about $4,000 or 4,000 coin each appear in the book out of nowhere. One was down at the lowest price possible, was at 26, and then it was another one mid-range of 4,000. Then once they get the price going in the direction they want, they remove the trades. These guys are scammers. I never seen open manipulation on somebody's books that's so easy to detect. They didn't sell any of those 4,000 uh, 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 sell walls, but when the price went down below uh, uh, 48.26, they removed the walls. Now you can see the walls I'm talking about. 30,011 spot 10. That's one of the kettle and law walls I talk about. That's the raw number right there. Let's see if we can see the other side. Boy, they really lowered that price down lower. The second kettle and wall, they're going to push this price down. I can tell you right now just by looking. We cannot find the bottom wall. You see that? Forty-seven sixty. So you could see what they're up to, and they'll use two of those two other large trades I just spotted in the book before I just signed on. Or were out there lowering the price. What do you think they were doing? They they need to block the price from going up. And now that they got the price getting down to their forty-seven, they're trying they're trying to collapse it below this line right here. You see everything hitting this line and going back up. They're trying to break it through that line, that resistance. They're a pack of frauds at Coinbase. Now watch. If it comes back at 48.26, those two large cell walls are 4,000 each. These guys are frauds. This exchange needs to be closed down. The order book is stacked. It's very easy to see it's stacked. 8,000 coin uh, cell walls appeared. When it started going down, they removed them. They're trying to direct the market to, 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 for people to sell. They're trying to trick you into selling. Don't sell. Don't even put your coin on this exchange. These guys are the worst defenders of any exchange I've ever seen. Well, you know, uh, uh, there's two like-sized market... Uh, Boy, in the sell wall, they just happen to be up there every day for a month, and they never bought or sold. And if, if, if God forbid, if it, like the other day, somebody went in and bought some of it, well, they'll just reinstate it in its entirety again and keep manipulating the market. I have it all on video. These guys are trying to tank the market. using fake trades they're hoping you see what it is they know people aren't watching this market and these mfs are going in there and manipulate it when they think you, you are it's out of view of the average investor they're scum this is one of the most crooked exchanges i ever seen in my life 
Everybody goes, what else could you compare it to? Let's take a look over here. $48.38. Okay, it's flattening out. Where do you see trades in this book at one price that equal 4000 on the sell side? Where do you see trades? Where do you see trades for 4000 coin at one price? Two of them. This guy has a larger volume. Where are the trades? Because you know why? This is not manipulated. This is. They're manipulating this one to keep it within the price range of this one. So 26 cents, 48 dollars and 26 cents is the trigger. And when it hits that price, you'll probably see the walls come back. They're trying to tank this market down. It's either Coinbase buying on behalf of its customers. They like to buy in bulk. They're coming in here and they're actually buying and selling on their own exchange. Everybody knows 20% of the volume on Coinbase is, is from Coinbase itself. They're trading on their own platform. That's an alarm on any security in any market. That's an alarm. Look at them. They're, they're, they're thirsty to get it underneath 48. They're thirsty. It's going to go lower than 48. I can tell you that right now. I can tell by just looking at where the kettle and walls are at. If you cannot see this kettle and wall, they're going to tank this market down. They're going to tank it. I'm telling you. You could tell they could tank it. Here goes one attempt, second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt, fifth attempt, sixth attempt at fraud. Just before I, I started this video, there was two trades. When it was around 48.26, they posted two trades. One at 48.26, 4,000 coin, and then maybe about a, a buck or two higher, another trade for 4,000. So they could begin the trend of bringing it down. And now those trades, now that it went underneath 48.26, they removed both trades. That's what you do when you manipulate. You have no intention of selling the coin. It's just to send false reports. Here it is, 4762, the other wall. It's down here now. So we can find their target using simple math. Because they're simple retards. Deeds. Okay. Where do they want the price? This is how we figure it out. Here goes the top price, 48.79. 48.76. Now we got to add in the bottom wall. See, the bottom wall is a 47.60, I think. This is the scum of the earth they are. My book. Well, you forget about $48. It's, it's low, dude. They moved the wall down low. I'm telling you, they're, getting, they're trying to force it down. $47.60. That's where it is. I've seen it before. $47.60. And then you divide it by two. Okay, you see the forty-eight eighteen. But but we want to also fix something because we want to keep an eyeball. 
No, they're going to bring it this price down. They're manipulating it down now. Three cents were off. A fraction of one percent. This exchange needs the CFT to step in. Go back to my videos. Grab the records. See who put up those kettling walls. Don't bother asking them if they, they, what they knew what they were doing. Arrest them. Go to Coinbase. Why did you let this trader on here doing this if it's not them directly? Arrest the CEO. Go to Charlie Lee. Why did you guys churn and burn in December? What what if you guys uh, talked to, talked to everybody that was going up to the moon when you're putting on Coinbase and then you dumped on them? That's a churn and burn. That's illegal. Arrest him. Brian Armstrong is going to have at least three or four accounts against him. So he, he's going to look at more than 10 to 25 years. You got to throw that bold, bold headed bullshit. That's all he is. That's the type of guy I, I, I always met people. They, I, I don't know what it is, but it seems to stand in modus operandi for these big headed fucking finance people, these youngsters, to shave their head and pretend they're tough. You see how the price is being controlled and manipulated? Now we'll, what, are, what are we off? Two cents? Three cents? <laughs> Two and a half cents. These guys are full of shit. If there wasn't any bull activity on this, they would already crash this probably February 21st. These... People are blatantly manipulating the price of Litecoin in such an easily detected way that I don't understand why the FBI isn't bashing down this guy's door and dragging him out of his house in his pajamas. There's other people that have done far worse than these clowns have did. These guys are responsible for, for the theft through price manipulation hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Forty-eight, twelve, fifteen. And there you go. Surpassed it. These guys are thieves, man. I don't know how anybody even trades crypto with these guys. Make your own exchange. Get away from these guys. Get get rid of them. Tell everybody, pull your accounts, come to this exchange, you trade over here, set it up just like Coinbase, make your own company, because these guys have already been proven that they can't be trusted. They're thieves. The Bitcoin Cash, bringing up, bringing up uh, claiming that they have to do maintenance, all the other coin are up uh, 100%, and they leave Bitcoin October 24th in maintenance on, uh, uh, in a... Uh, in maintenance, it's not even, uh, what do they call that again? I'll look up the term. They didn't even take it out of maintenance. They put it in a, oh God, I can't remember the term. Let me see if I could show you on my channel, October 24th, around there. When they did another ripoff, they used they put it in maintenance and oh, and they left it in limit order only, where actually the next buy has to be lower in price. And they started buying the coin, and each consecutive time they bought it, after they left it in limit order only, they bought it at a lower price. After that maintenance, that's that's a scam right there. 
So now you see, you, I told you it was going to go lower because the, the, the controlling walls, the price controlling manipulation walls, the kettling walls went lower. They're thieves. They're criminals. They're scum of the earth. These guys don't deserve any friggin' uh, look, 47.61, they rose it a penny. Here goes the other one. They rose, it, it went down to 48.59, what was it before? It was 48.76. That's why you see the four cents difference now. You see how those kettle and walls control the price. And if they're really having, if they're not making no leeway, they'll add additional large walls in there and push the price down, which they were doing prior to me uh, starting this video. And then as soon as I looked, when they got it going in the right direction, they removed the two 4,000 Litecoin trades on the sell side. And they were underneath this. Wall. So it's the same person. It's the same people using the same crap. So now let's do the math again, right? We seen him lower, lower the wall, right? So we're gonna clear it. Our figures are right there from the last change. Forty-eight fifty-nine plus the lower wall. Which is friggin' uh, forty-seven sixty. That equals, and you just simply divide it by two. We're a penny off. You see, you see what we're talking about, people. This is how the thievery is performed. Every Every single day. All those other trades between those walls mean absolutely nothing. Unless they're attempting to drive the price down, they'll insert walls in between those two kettle and walls to drive it up either way. Then they start driving it down. Then they move the kettle and walls down to keep the price stable at where they dumped it to. Now, how, how would I get within the penny? How? How am I getting these prices? How am I getting close to the mid-range price using the two kettling walls? Because the kettling walls are being used to manipulate the price. I just showed you the price two times. 48.18. It hit. 48.095. We're one penny off. I showed it to you. I did the math right in front of you. And then we went back. And sure enough, that's where it is. After they move the walls. The two kettling walls of 3,011 spot 10. And they're embedded in, in a, a larger amount in this case. These guys are frauds. They're thieves. I don't know how many times. Uh, whoever's monitoring my... Uh, uh, CFTC, the, the Attorney General, whoever's looking at it, what are you waiting for? You gonna keep letting them rip off people or what? What are you waiting for? We gave you everything. The math is there. It's clear as day. Throw these fuckers in jail. Now it's a half a cent off. We're off by half a cent. Uh, let me get out of here. I'm getting disgusted.